There we go. Hello, everybody. This is Nikki Barry. I just changed my last name from Williams to Barry, so it's a little different for me to say that, but it's Nikki Barry, and I am here today in Denver, Colorado, and I have my friend Nitya um, from New Zealand on the line, and we are going to talk about her awesome skincare line, um, Nature Body, and I met her when we were traveling New Zealand at the Kerry Kerry Farmer's Market, which is the best farmer's market in all of New Zealand, <laughs> at least in my opinion. <laughs> um, so we would travel um, up to two hours. If we were within two hours um, of that farmer's market, we would travel there to go there to um, see Nitya and all of the wonderful people that were at the market. So she has come on to join us today. And um, yeah, welcome, Nitya. And would you tell us a little bit about um, yourself and your business? Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so we, uh, my husband and I, Kyle, um, we make Nature Body products in New Zealand. We are all about zero waste with our products. So our packaging and our shipping is all zero waste. We're really passionate about that. And yeah, we make probiotic deodorants, things that are a little bit different that you may not have heard of. And we use, so we use probiotics for balancing bacteria on our skin and deodorants and face masks and spray and all kinds of interesting things that we use probiotics for. It's a fascinating field, something I'm really, really interested in and love. And yeah, we put together these ingredients at our home here in Kerikuri. So we know how it's made, we know all the ingredients, where they come from. And yeah, we make them here and then send them around New Zealand and around the country. Our overseas as well, starting to. So it's a really cool, fun, fun little challenge and fun creating and yeah we have a lot of fun doing this so awesome love it and how long have you been doing it so for about um uh, my age here about 20 years i've been <laughs> making products <laughs> uh so yeah so early 20s i started creating i've always loved herbs always planted Herbs, wherever we've lived, always had a big herb garden, and I used to use my family, bless them, as little guinea pigs with my potions. <laughs> so I'd mix things up in the in the um, water and pestle, and here, try this, or a tea and infusion, and um, our animals, dogs, and horses, they all got treated. <laughs> and luckily, they were, you know, all okay, um, and of course it helped. But yeah, so about 20 years, I've always made products, I just loved it. And then our daughter, our eldest daughter was born, she's almost 10, so yeah, almost 10 years ago. And we were looking for really natural products for her, and we just couldn't find them. We were on a single income, I was home with her, and it was either really, really, really expensive, and really not that natural either. So I started thinking, well, hey, I'll just make my own, like I'm pretty used to doing that. And yeah, so made baby balms and creams and things for her. And then it just grew from there. I invite friends and family around and we'd have a fun little facial day and trying different scrubs and things made from food pretty much. And then um, started making my own deodorant. And from there, friends and family said, cool, let's go, I'd love, to, I'd love to try this. And yeah, so it kind of grew from there into a little business, a little home business, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, so how, how do you feel that um, the skincare products fit into a healthy lifestyle? What, how, what's that puzzle piece look like for you? So, yeah, so that's, it's a big puzzle piece. Skin, when you think about it, is our biggest organ in the body. And it's say people say 60 percent but it has i've seen other studies that say up to 80 percent of what we put on our skin is, is absorbed 
And there's so many hidden chemicals in skincare. <laughs> if there's, if you can't read the number or you don't really understand what the ingredient is, then pretty much try to avoid it. And it's not that great. <laughs> um, so yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of a lot of chemicals in skincare that we just don't even know about. We think it's fine or safe, and it's been approved, but really, it's it's not that great. So yeah, skin is it's a huge one, especially considering deodorant in such a um, it's such a sensitive area of your body connect and for women connected right there close to your breast and a um, an area where it should be cleansing but if we're putting on say a um, antiperspirant deodorant all we're doing is really clogging up that system and not letting it clear out and and perspire like we should so it's massive thing to yeah to avoid those those products and go to something that lets your body do what it really needs to do and yeah perspire like it should breathe like it should <laughs> um, but still you know have a good product of course that is going to do the job so yeah stop you from smelling or moisturize your skin or um, cleanse it properly and but but using ingredients that are yeah, natural and they're not going to harm you in any way so really important yeah awesome yeah i've done a um i love essential oils as well and I have done a little experiment where you can put a strong essential oil on the bottom of your foot yes and then you can taste it in your mouth and Absolutely. It's crazy to yep. think that it traveled um I've I I have the same story as you do when my daughter was born about a few months after she was born, I realized I went to um, a home-based party of a woman who was a lot like you here, who had, she had started her own lotion. It was just lotion. And she was talking about all the toxins. And um, specifically here in um, New Zealand, or in New Zealand, <laughs> in the United States, I don't know if it's the same in New Zealand, but um, there's a lot of endocrine disruptors. Yeah. In the lotions and that can be very detrimental to um all of our endocrine system which is hormones for little girls and all of that yeah so that mm. scared me and that sent me down this path of okay i need to look more into what i'm rubbing all over my daughter yeah, um, yeah. so mm. It's really, really important, I think, for for people to understand that just because it's on the shelf doesn't necessarily mean it's that it's healthy. It's the same with food. Just because it's on the shelf doesn't mean that it's good for you or Absolutely. healthy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And a lot of things have been approved, which shouldn't be approved in skincare and food. And yeah, they've got a question. <laughs> why? Yeah, what? Yeah, like you say, if it's on the shelf, it doesn't necessarily mean it's really that like, healthy or good for you. So right. definitely look at the ingredients. And if it looks like there's a really long list of things that you can, can't even pronounce, then yeah, try to avoid it if you can. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about the probiotic and this and your skin and why it's important. Um, like cleansing because I always thought I grew up oh I need to get all the dirt off I need to get all the the bacteria out of my armpits so that they don't stink mm -hmm. well come to find out <laughs> okay, yeah yeah absolutely it's a big one and consider that most of our body is bacteria and we need a healthy balance of bacteria on our bodies as well as in our bodies to maintain health and have a strong immune system. So what studies are showing now is that we desperately need more skin bacteria and we used to have a whole host of bacteria living on our skin, but yeah, the age of antibacterial everything has wiped it out. So, these particular studies have isolated certain strains that are really, really ben beneficial for our skin and to have on our skin. And there are probably three main ones that we use in our products. One of them is really, really great for underarm because it, what it does is oxidizes the ammonia 
under your arm and replaces any bad bacteria with the really good bacteria that should be living on your skin. So using this, um, this type of probiotic, it actually reduces the need for deodorant, <laughs> um, how it keeps your skin healthy, and it's just incredible what, what it actually does. So you don't really need to use the number of cleaning washes or soaps or gigantic list of things that we often are told we need. And um, it's, yeah, it comes down to be having, a, having a healthy balance. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's great to be clean. And yeah, there are certain times when we do need it. But being out in the mud, in the soil, in the dirt, in different forests, we're, we're constantly breathing in bacteria and we're constantly picking it up on our skin and we don't even know it. Um, but it's really vital, really, really important for our health. So yeah, we use these strains that are really beneficial for your skin. One um, treats acne and rosacea and any skin irritations and problems on your face. And then other ones are for a more eczema type um, situation, really healing for eczema. And then the other one that we mostly use is, yeah, for the underarm and oxidize the ammonia. So fascinating stuff. And more studies are coming out all the time about it. They're, you know, it's being looked at a lot. And I just read an article about um, E. coli bacteria. And I mean, obviously in big doses, it's not great for us. <laughs> but in small doses, it actually lives at the top of our gut and it helps us absorb certain um, vitamins that are really necessary. Vitamin K, actually, it was. So, you know, we think E. coli is bad and, and we, we try to eliminate it, but we do need that little balance. And, and yeah, bacteria is, and probiotics are just vital from everything I've read. <laughs> yeah, I've read a lot of the same stuff too, that we're just, we're outnumbered by three to one. We're just like human cells riding <laughs> along on a bacteria. I'm yeah. human cells mostly, so... That's just, it's crazy to me to think how as a society we went, like knowing that, or maybe they didn't know that, I'm not sure what came first, but why we would turn to all of this antibacterial soaps and, and the, oh, the stuff that drives me crazy <laughs> is the um, Purell or whatever, like, oh. I see people, and I, I actually used to be that person. And when I first had my daughter, I'm like, everything has to be clean, clean, yeah. clean. And now with my second daughter, I'm like, good, go play in the dirt, go eat the dirt, you know, go, go eat, I, I shouldn't say this, but go eat your boogers because they're actually good for you. I was watching, I was listening to a biochemist talk and she's now turned nutrition and she was like, it's good for them. To yeah, eat because it creates a healthier, stronger immune system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! I'm not gonna encourage it, but <laughs> <laughs> um, it's definitely different now knowing what I know, and um, just you just learn. It's just a a, a path that everyone's on, right? They're all in different, mm -hmm. everyone, we're all in different places and we're all just learning to see Absolutely. what's best and what fits for our family. Yeah. Uh, so I was gonna ask you, I just ordered a probiotic spray. Yeah. Again, that you can <gasps> put on after you shower. So yeah. I have probiotic deodorant, which I love, and my husband right. loves it as well. Uh, mm -hmm. It works really well for both of us, but um, so maybe in the future you guys will have a probiotic skin spray as well. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm actually I'm working on it, and I've got and people are testing it for us at the moment. Oh wow, so, that's so awesome! I didn't. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So it's something I've been wanting to do as well, and it's a combination of of um, the skin specific bacteria probiotics um, and yes so far it's having really great results helping skin heal and really chronic eczema conditions that have been around for years and and it's the only thing so far that's really just making a difference and helping their skin heal so I mean eczema is very much an internal thing as well but um, but this is something that they can spray to really help that top skin heal so 
Yeah, it's exciting. Awesome. How cool. Yeah. That's yeah. so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, what has been your favorite um, customer success story since we're talking about people healing and stuff like that what's been yeah. you have a couple whatever how many yeah um yeah definitely there's been a number of people who have tried natural deodorants and like I did <laughs> for years as well I tried everything around that I could try and just didn't quite work um so yeah we get so many people coming to us and saying, look, this is the only deodorant that actually works and it's really effective. And it even helps skin heal. Um, a lovely husband of um, a friend and, you know, uses it to help to heal his skin as well of a um, bit of rash. And, and yes, yeah, so that's, that's been really exciting. Just so lovely hearing, but probably the most exciting is, is eczema and being able to help kids and adults with years of eczema on their hands and, um, using we've got a probiotic eczema balm as well as the spray and uh, the probiotic skin spray and you're healing it and they've had it for years you know their hands have been covered in it for instance and they've, they've used this and got rid of it and it's been life life changing for them and it's just so exciting for me I just yeah I love it I love hearing those stories and the success in helping people so um, yeah probably there was one lady who had it all over her hands and she yeah had it for years and then she tried the cream and the probiotics and got rid of it. So, yay, <laughs> brilliant. Um, that's, yeah, that's the most exciting part for me is just seeing, seeing it helping like that. And they've tried everything, they've, so many creams and things from the doctors and nothing else has helped. So it's just, yeah, it's such a cool feeling. That gives me the buzz. <laughs> help him yeah <laughs> helpers high we call it yeah yeah and, you know yeah. what I in my line of work that's probably my favorite success story as well is the healing of the eczema and I go mm -hmm. from it the other way it's from internal yes. so um just by taking some concentrated fruit and veggie powders I have seen so many children heal from eczema wow. and it's just, it's, it is, it's life changing for them. I mean, and it's yeah. so awesome to see their skin heal and so quickly too. Yeah. Uh, and that, that, and the constipation stories, like my, my yeah. child doesn't go to the bathroom. And I mean, can you imagine just, I, that's so hard for me to, to imagine you know, mm. having to watch your child go through that. And mm. eczema too. I mean, just anything with children. I'm like, oh, yeah. I hope all the children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That that would be so exciting. And, and you're right. Eczema is so much an internal balance. It, yeah, must be looked at internally. So that's really cool. Your juices are doing that. It's amazing. Yeah. But yeah. it is. That's interesting. So do you ever um, share with people um, to, to change their diet as well? Like, hey, yeah. this will help your skin, but you probably need to look at some other things? Or <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we absolutely do. We recommend um, on, on that page on our website to look at internal inflammatory foods and to look at changing the diets and there's another probiotic you can take internally as well which is helpful for skin but you take it internally and yeah so definitely we get a lot of parents messaging or emailing saying help you know what I do my little little ones just covered in it and so yeah we often recommend maybe some hair testing or um or a naturopath but absolutely we say it has to be an internal treatment as well as an external it's yeah it's the skin trying to eliminate a eh? so it's trying to it's trying to get stuff out and the body trying to get stuff out so it's coming out as a last resort in three skin so yeah it, yeah it's got to got to be internal as well absolutely <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah you guys yeah. i used to i saw at like health 2000 and stuff in new zealand where they would do the um hair tests have you yeah. recommend those yeah, that we have. Yeah, we've recommended those to a number of people just to just to help them get started on what foods may be causing 
or maybe you know the body is not is not handling is not able to to process and so those kind of inflammatory foods is often a gluten and, and dairy start but there are other things as well that kids kids can just their bodies just don't like and and it causes yeah a pretty bad reaction so yeah definitely the head hair sample test is a good one sure. and, yeah, we don't, yeah i don't there's not that i'm sure we have it here in the u.s but it's not yeah. like as prevalent as it is in new zealand so i think next time i go down there I'll, i think i might take part in that <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's really interesting yeah mm, good place to start yeah yeah okay mm. um so you mentioned a little bit about your website and um i follow you on facebook and stuff like that you have you always share awesome recipes and stuff like that what other resources do you have for people uh yes yeah, so we we have very much about our eco living style and and having a small footprint on the earth um everyone does their best we do our best and you know sometimes there are there are times when you know you're you're out and about and you need something rather but um we yeah we try and share all our recipes that we use for cleaning and dishwashing powder um all kinds of cool things making your own bath soaks and salts and um healing herbs what to do with different herbs growing that you might just have lying around that you think even as a weed that you could use and yeah lots of cool things that just maybe can help with um simplifying life and getting us back to basics you know like what how the way our great grandmothers for instance used to to have a herb garden in the backyard and be able to treat ourselves and feel confident in using plants around us and our food and medicine, as our medicine, you know, so that's something I'm really passionate about. And so we share all those recipes, all those different herbs, what to do with them, and um, yeah, little tips on keeping ourselves a bit of zero waste and and eco living. So yeah, so that is yeah, it's something. Yeah, I love, I love doing that, and I'd love to get back to more basic actually, and get completely off the grid, and a little bit even more self sufficient than we are. It's something we're working on. But um, yeah, it's something that we love. I love sharing all that and seeing how it's growing around the world and people, what awesome things people are doing out there. So um, yeah, I'm passionate about it. <laughs> I can definitely hear that. That's yeah. Awesome. That's something that Zane and I, once we figure out where we want to settle down, is like we yeah. eventually want to be off grid and like zero waste. Yeah sort of thing so that's why yeah. one of my gardens right behind me yeah is, it's called the tower garden and it's an aeroponic garden it has no soil oh. and, yeah so it's this um, it grows so much faster it grows about 30 percent faster it uses wow. less water than in-ground gardening and uses yeah. nice of space it's phenomenal so. Wow, I was looking at that wondering how what that was because I can see the silver bee growing and all the different herbs going, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, so oh. I actually have three of them. It's one of the things that oh. I really miss about um, traveling. But as soon oh. as wherever we settle down, I will have them shipped. And <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to have the fresh fruits and vegetables and the herbs and um you know there you guys have a ton of great stores in new zealand um mm -hmm. organic stores and stuff like that you they, or the markets that you can get them from but um yeah. have them at your convenience is so much better <laughs> yeah oh there's nothing like fresh growing and being able to just walk out and pick it a eh? yeah 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 yeah, you I love growing season where you are in New Zealand. Yes, yeah, because we're you know right far north of New Zealand, almost at the top. Um, it's it's almost subtropical, so we can grow yeah year round and all kinds of different fruits and and veggies. Yeah, do really well. So I, I love it. <laughs> That's my my happy place. Is out there in the garden and hands in the soil and creating something out there. So. 
yeah I, I don't get as much time as I like at the moment but that's okay that's that's life and yeah getting out is just oh it's cool it just drains any stress away and yeah then being able to walk out and pick it for dinner or lunch or whatever it's amazing the kids go out and join me and come and pick herbs and just can say can you go get some rosemary for me and they'll go get me some rosemary and help out so uh, yeah it's cool awesome yeah well um why don't I, I'm gonna ask you one more question in wrapping up what do you feel is the one thing that could have the biggest impact on impact on people's health that might be being overlooked in society today okay um well it's probably a number of things actually for me um I focus on our environment and the, the, the biggest one. Um, that includes so much, though, <laughs> under that umbrella. Um, not only is, is it how we're looking after our environment, but it's the chemicals and um, plastics, the, even Wi-Fi that is surrounding us that we overlook so much, don't even realise what is in our food or our medicines or... Um, yeah our environment around us like you know the wi-fi and and what how it can affect us so yeah so that's a gigantic one I think that we're slowly becoming aware of but it's yeah it's a it's it's tricky it's a challenge because I know New Zealand you know we have lots of little organic stores or or someone growing fresh fresh fruit and veggies down the road but um, again in the supermarkets <laughs> it looks lovely and healthy and delicious, but really what's behind it and how's it growing? And, and when you really look into it, it's, yeah, not that great, <laughs> not that healthy. So, yeah, so environment um, encompasses everything, I guess. But um, mostly I think if we can just get back to basics and growing our own food, organics, wherever possible, natural products that you can eat use on your skin um try to turn avoid the wi-fi if you can or turn it off at night at least just you know let your body have a little break get out in nature get your hands in the soil into the mud um relaxing slowing down just our life is so busy isn't it we, do we celebrate busy 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 and we forget about the internal balance and being able to relax so if anything, getting out in nature and spending time, yeah, with people you love out in nature and just finding, you yeah, know, getting that balance of getting away from the rush of life and the rush of chemicals and the rush of um, nasties in our, in our environment around, surrounding us constantly. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a big answer, isn't it? But <laughs> yeah. It yeah. Is. <laughs> Um, there, it's not, I don't, it is, it's not just one thing. I mean, I would like mm. to think, oh, it's food, but it's not, it's, you're right. It's so many different things. And for me and for my family, I, those things that I can control or that we can control, we really hold on to those tight and say, okay, let's, let's try and do the 80, 20 rule with these things that we can control. Yeah. There are so many things that we can't. Yeah. Um, and, and that like turning your phone, I try and turn my phone into airplane mode as much as possible to yeah. keep that down, um, you know, getting rid of a microwave. Yeah. Microwaves are not that great either. <laughs> the reason <laughs> from those. Um, yeah, just those few things and, and just trying to take a hold of those few things that you can and do those uh -huh. well. And just yeah. know and trust that your body is going to know how to get rid of the rest. And that's, I think, mm -hmm. part of what you said, the relaxing and getting back, back to nature yeah. um, so that you can heal yourself, right? Because our bodies are absolutely amazing. If we give it the right, the right things and we treat it right, our bodies can really heal themselves and do some amazing things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I yeah I agree with you. And and you know yeah, definitely, we can't beat ourselves up about 
something that we're not doing or can't haven't got control over yeah we all are doing our best and i'm seeing just amazing things that people are doing around the world and in new zealand with our environment and and, and the tide is changing eh? as you know so much more is becoming available that we have options now for healthy food and healthy products and yeah it's you're right we all do something little and it is part of a big picture so yeah yeah well yeah. thank you so much for being on we will um get your website and your link and your facebook page and we will get that out to everyone so that they thank know you. where they can reach you and get your awesome products or learn more information and all about you so thank you so much for taking time to be on tonight i really appreciate it pleasure thank you so much it's been so lovely chatting with you awesome i look forward to seeing you again soon too you too yeah you too yeah hi bye